to the funnest place on Earth, boys, the Bootsville Museum. Nothing like a day of history to get the brain juices flowing. Ooh, gladiators. <sighs> it's going to be a long day. What? A long day without cat? <laughs> uh, must be my bracelet? Hey, we've got the same bracelet. How come yours set off the detector and mine didn't? Maybe mine is more metal -y. Lorne and Harley, put those spears back! Phoebe, those aren't pretty pony dolls! Please! We're here to learn, not to have fun! Not to have fun? Why, Miss Brannigan, history is wall-to-wall -wall fun! Oh, really, Mr. Burtonberger? Well, maybe you want to teach the class. Could I? Well, it's not that I... Okay, kids, these here are the weapons of the Roman gladiator, armed only with a trident and a net. Hey, keep your hands off those. Besides, you're holding it wrong. to battle each other to the death! <laughs> then the gladiators would jump into chariots and race around fighting. Miss Brannigan, Coop's dad is like the coolest school chaperone ever! Yeah, it's like I'm not even learning stuff. <laughs> He's, uh, enthusiastic, all right. Actually, the <laughs> chariot races were more like car races, except the chariots had mechanical horses and steam-powered jetpacks. Oh. Jetpacks? Come on! We got bigger problems than historical inaccuracies. Look! Leave me alone, doggy! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Phew, that would have been blamed on me for sure. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oops. Ugh. Stay close to me, Coop. Do you have any idea what that urn cost? Now, the T-Rex, as you can see, had short, stubby arms, and this was so... Uh, so he could keep his poker hand hidden from his opponents. <laughs> That's ridiculous. The T-Rex never played poker. He was a great beast who would tear apart his victims. And with his arms, he... <laughs> He would tickle his prey into submission. Yay! Dinosaurs are supposed to be scary, not tickle monsters. You want scary? There's a lot of sharp things in this museum a certain cat can use on us. There he is! <laughs> There's that guard dog. I got an idea. What do you have in your lunch? Um, a mushy banana peanut butter bologna sandwich. <laughs> Here, boochie, boochie, boochie. <laughs> the dinosaurs would lure them into a trap using pizza as bait, then devour the caveman whole. Impossible! They never existed at the same time. How could any dinosaur have had pizza? <laughs> Looks like that one just made dinner out of coop. Nerd burgers again. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's no such thing as Egyptian daddies. Oh, really? Then who lived with the mummies, genius? Hey, Coop, isn't that your sister in one of those Egyptian comic strips? <laughs> oh, careful! These hieroglyphics tell the tale of the curse of Tootin' Kitty. Whoa! Curse of Tootin' Kitty. <laughs> There's no such thing. It says here, in 100 BC, a strange hairless cat, Tootin' Kitty, appeared in Egypt. Legend says he cursed the land with misfortune. 
It's Cat! Let me see. The Pharaoh tried to banish Tutan Kitty, but the cat was under the protection of the princess. That's the one that looks like Millie. <gasps> and the Pharaoh, it's me. Tutan Kitty battled for the throne only to be defeated and trapped in this tomb. Aha, see, he was defeated. Oh, curse. Oh no, right here it says, but legend has it, one day this tomb will open and Tootin Kitty will return with his powerful cat army to seek his revenge. <laughs> hey, I'm not making this up. <sighs> Evil Kitty meets Tootin Kitty. That can't be good. Get me a glass of water, servant. I'm an Egyptian princess. Just because you look like a pitcher on a coffin doesn't make you the boss of me. No, no. The Egyptians didn't use paper mache to make mummies. Get to the part where they suck the mummy's brains out through a tube of their nose. <laughs> awesome. Gotcha. A cat? Was it Tootin' Kitty? <gasps> no, no, no! There's no such thing as Tootin' Kitty! It's all a big misunderstanding. That's enough shenanigans from you today, Cooper Burtonberger. Sit down by Miss Brannigan and don't move. Miss hmm. Brannigan, I uh, have to go to the bathroom. Be my guest. <laughs> Shh. Gotta find Cat. I think he's trying to release Tootin' Kitty. <laughs> On to the next exhibit, kids. The Terracotta Warriors. Action figures for giants. What? Coop, how are we gonna stop Cat? The only thing he's afraid of is that guard dog. Or another dog. You keep watch for the guard. for giants. They were made for a Chinese emperor hundreds of years ago. A giant Chinese emperor? <gasps> what was that? I think it was a cat. <laughs> Don't be silly. Why would a cat come to a museum? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh boy, time to go, kids. What happened here? It's obviously the work of Tootin' Kitty's Curse. No, it wasn't. It was Coop and Kitty's Curse. Yep, that's what it must be. Thank you so much. Bye now. Wait, I want to see the gift shop. Yeah, I think we have enough memories of today's visit, sweetie.
gone. He's really, really gone. What's all the hubbub? I have to find Mr. Cat. And I have to help find Mr. Cat. Uh, what's he look like? Just look for the cutest thing you've ever seen. Got it. Cat's probably just playing hide and seek. He's really good at it. We might not find him for years. I hear the alarm, but where's the fire? Okay, that's enough! Coop, help Millie look for Cat. I'll check the pound. I knew it was too good to be true. What if he was catnapped? Or run over by a steamroller? Or eaten by a polar bear? Oh my gosh, you're right! Uh, not with my luck. <gasps> <laughs> Someone needs a bath. Okay, well, someone certainly doesn't like baths. <gasps> You're cold and shivering, and no wonder you've lost all your fur. We'll just have to make you a new coat, and you'll be a proper kitty again. Yeah. Oh, a bit of brown, a dash of white, oh, and some black to bring out your eyes. You're going to be so handsome. Yes, you are. Pretty kitty now. I can't believe Mr. Cat is gone. At least you'll always have this nice picture to remember him by. I never meant to ignore him or hurt his feelings. Now he's gone forever. And I never got a chance to say goodbye. Oh. He's back. Mr. Cat? <laughs> Mr. Cat! Mr. Cat! Mr. Cat! Oh, I miss you too much. Don't you ever run away again. You found him. Ew. This is what all the fuss was about. Talk that way about Mr. Cat. I think you should leave. Leave? You'd seriously pick that thing over me? There's no room in my life for a cat hater. Except Coop. Now get lost! Fine! Goodbye! We don't need someone so over emotional. 
Reginald Dewey. I was so worried! <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Cat. I promise I'll never ignore you again. I'm so glad you're home and everything is back to normal. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah! 